folks. Welcome to another Triple T Thursday. For those just joining us, that's tools, tips, and talk where we'll discuss info for the knife maker. In today's episode, I thought I'd go through some, uh, some small tools that'll help your knife game. Some of these you maybe already have, but maybe you don't. Maybe I should have done this video a little bit before Christmas so you could have got some of these, but no matter what, you're going to want to get these. Let's take a look. So here are the five little tools I picked out for this video that I think you definitely want to own. So let's go through them one by one. First off, the can't twist clamp. I use these all the time. These are my go-to when I need to clamp anything, uh, you know, within reason. Um, these, are, these are what I go to. They're just really easy to use. They're very solid. They're the, the reason they can't twist, if you're familiar with C-clamps, you put something in a C-clamp and it tends to rotate around this way. Well, these don't do that and they have uh, copper. These are copper so they don't mar your workpiece. So just all around good things. So definitely you want some of these. For all of these, there'll be links down in the description for you to go get them. So can't twist clamps. Great. One, two, three blocks. So if you're not familiar with one, two, three blocks, they are just an essential thing for me, for any workshop, uh, particularly a metal workshop. The reason they're called one, two, three clamps, they're one inch by two inches by three inches. They have tapped holes here, and they're just good for standing things up. These are machined, so they are perfectly flat. I mean, I've marred them up. These are pretty beaten up set. I should probably buy a new set, but um, I use them on the drill table to hold things up so I can drill. I use them on my, I'll put a knife on a surface plate so that I can, I can elevate it and keep the handle off it. There's just so many uses for these one, two, three blocks. Hey folks, wanted to mention our sponsor, Maritime Knife Supply. If you need anything for knife making, whether it's steel, handle material, tools, equipment, Whatever it is, you can get it at Maritime Knife Supply. They even carry the perfect blade sharpening attachment by yours truly. So if you're up in Canada and you need a sharpening attachment, go get one at Maritime. Next up is scribes. So these scribes, and I'll actually add this scribe to it, but these scribes um, I got off eBay. I'll put the link here. This one is just a carbide scribe where you can put your work on a, on a surface plate and then adjust the height of this and scribe lines all around it. So if you want uh, to scribe lines of kind of any height, this is just essential. This is a center line scribe. You put your knife uh, in it and you kind of pivot this and it will um, ensure that the line you mark is perfectly in the center. Uh, unlike this one where you can adjust the height, this will always be in the center. I got these from uh, the same guy on uh, eBay, so I'll put links down here. I, I use these on every project. This is a scribe from Austin over at High Caliber Craftsman that he sent me. Um, you know, he sells them on his site, and I'll put a link down there. But this is just a carbide tip scribe. I use it for marking metal. Uh, again, I use this scribe daily um, on all the time this is in a special place I reach for it um, so you definitely want to get yourself uh, a scribe like this. Measuring. Yeah I've got the measuring tape but sometimes you just want to grab a ruler and um, and just measure something so I keep these handy I love that they're metal um, you know they, they stay true I use them for straight edges uh, I got this little two-pack um, you know if you want just want the short one I use these, again, I use these daily. So uh, there's a link down in the description to get these as well. Lastly, this is relatively new for some folks, um, but these are called gulso bolts. So they're basically a, a, a two-part bolt where you'll have kind of the receiver end that's tapped, and then you'll have the bolt end. Why do you want these? Well, I use these all the time to solve a key problem for knife makers where you have a knife, you want to etch the, the whole spine, the whole edge of the knife, 
um, but you want to be able to finish your handle scales. So I clamp on my handle scales with gulso bolts because they'll tighten right in, finish the scales completely, sand them, do whatever you need to do, grind them, then you can take these off, finish your knife, um, and etch it, stone wash it, do whatever you want to do, and then you just slap your scales back on and tighten these. And you can still epoxy under it. Uh, so a lot of my knives, uh, especially like the stone wash ones, I will do with gulso bolts. Uh, the only place I know of that you can get these is Maker Material Supply, so I'll put a link down in the description for these. Uh, really, really great. And, I, and here's a picture of a knife that I just did with gulso bolts. All right, folks, short and sweet this week. Hopefully you got something out of this, and I'll see you on the next one.